The mosquito, an eternal pest. So small and yet so bothersome. A mosquito bite can leave you scratching for hours. But what if you were bitten by more than a few? What if you found yourself surrounded by thousands of mosquitoes? This is your body on being trapped in a room full of mosquitoes. There are 3,500 species of mosquito around the world. Thankfully, only a few hundred drink human blood. What would it be like to be bitten by thousands of them? Could a big enough swarm kill you? The bite. Female mosquitoes use more than 150 receptors to find their victims. They need a meal of blood before they can lay their eggs. Male mosquitoes, on the other hand, are vegetarians and happy to feed on plants. Mosquitoes have mouths with six needle-like parts which they use to pierce and lock into your skin. As they feed, their saliva releases anticoagulants that prevent your blood from clotting. This induces an allergic reaction, causing itchy red bumps on your skin. A mosquito will drink about five microliters of blood. That's not much, considering when you donate blood, you give about half a liter. But you're facing more than just one. In this room, there are hundreds of thousands of the little critters waiting to feast on you. The choice. How does a mosquito choose its victim? Scientists don't know why some people seem more palatable to mosquitoes, but they do know that the pests track you from the carbon dioxide you exhale. They detect your body heat and the fatty fumes coming off your skin. Mosquitoes are attracted to a combination of your body odor, heat, carbon dioxide, and dark clothing. And if you have type O blood, you're considered a delicacy. But if you're trapped in a room full of them, well, they're not going to be picky. The diseases. When a mosquito bites, it can infect you with malaria, West Nile, dengue, Zika, or yellow fever, among other diseases and parasites. These infections can cause severe reactions, including aches, nausea, liver disease, coma, and death. Malaria alone infects about 250 million people worldwide every year, killing one million. But you'll be happy to know none of the mosquitoes in this room carry any diseases, as far as we know. After all, we're not cruel. The room. Unfortunately, you're out of bug spray and they are moving in fast. Wildly waving your arms doesn't seem to be helping. Get away! Keep away, you ah, pests! There are just too many of them. The first bite isn't too bad, but then comes the second and third. Within minutes, you're covered by hungry bloodsuckers. It would take 90,000 bites before you lost as much blood as you would when donating. The pain and itching will be horrible, but it's not life-threatening yet. As long as you're not allergic to mosquito bites, uh, you're not, are you? You can lose up to 14% of your blood without any significant side effects. You've now lost just under a liter. That's about 18% of your blood supply. You start to feel dizzy nauseous and weak. You have a headache that's getting worse. Once you lose 20% of your blood, you'll suffer from hypovolemic shock. You'll be anxious, confused, very sweaty, and breathing rapidly. You've now been bitten around 13 times per square centimeter of skin, and your skin feels like it's on fire. If you get bitten 1.1 million times, your heart could stop pumping. You could fall into a coma or die. 
In 1980, a massive swarm killed 15 cows in one night. It's estimated it took 3.8 million bites to drain one cow of half its blood. So it might be best not to get yourself locked in a room full of these little bloodsuckers. But if you think mosquitoes are bad, there are scarier parasites out there. We'll explore that on another episode of Your Body On.